Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between David Smerdon and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from Chess Olympia played in Baku in 2016. David Smerdon had white pieces and he started with e4. Australian team thought that if David Smerdon gets half a point in this game, it would be a great result against the world champion Magnus Carlsen. David, in his own words, was very nervous before the game. Magnus Carlsen played c5, Sicilian defense, and now c3, going for Alapin variation. This is the opening that David played since he was four years and 12 months old. d5, e takes on d5, queen takes on d5, d4, knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, bishop to g4 is the most played move, e6, knight to a3, and now queen to d8. If something like c takes on d4, then knight to b5, threatening knight to c7 check, family fork. If knight to a6, queen takes on d4, and this line is good for white. So Carlsen played queen to d8. This is a prophylactic queen retreat. Knight to c4. Bishop to e7. Bishop to e3. C takes on d4. This position was seen before. And white on two occasions played knight takes on d4. It's Merdon played queen takes on d4. This is his own move. Carlsen castle kingside and David Castle, queenside. Knight to d5, queen to g4. Knight takes bishop on e3. Pawn takes knight. Queen to c7, lining the queen with white king. Bishop to d3. Knight to d7. Queen to f4, offering to exchange queens. It would also improve white's pawn structure. Queen to c5. If queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, white is slightly better. Queen to c5, white to move. This is now very interesting. b4, is this risky or not? Attacking the queen. Queen to c6, x-laying, the pawn on c3. Perhaps you would think that white would play king to b2 or something. David played knight to d4, attacking the queen, sacrificing the pawn on g2. Queen takes on g2, threatening queen takes pawn on a2. What now? How would you defend the pawn? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? David played rook from h to g1, daring Carlsen to take the pawn on a2. Queen to h3. What happens if queen takes pawn on a2? If queen takes pawn on a2, what did David have in mind? This is what David had in mind. Rook takes on g7 check, king takes rook, rook to g1 check, king to h8 and now queen to h6. Threatening queen to g7 checkmate or queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. One line goes like this, queen to a1 check, king to d2, queen takes rook, queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. Carlsen played queen to h3. Rook to g3, attacking the queen again. Queen to h4, better was queen to h5. Perhaps Carlsen didn't like rook from d to g1. Although he would have g6. So we have queen to h4, 
No. Carlson wants to exchange queens. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Rook to h3. Bishop to g5. And we have reached another very interesting moment of the game. Why to move? What would you do? I guess bishop takes pawn on h7 is asking to be played. Do you agree? David played rook to g1. He wanted to draw a game. If bishop takes on h7, king to h8, bishop to c2, discover check, bishop to h6, knight to d6, white is better. But the opponent is world champion, Magnus Carlsen. Perhaps against a weaker player, David would go for this variation. But he is playing world champion, and he wanted to make sure that he gets half a point. So we have rook to g1, h6, rook takes bishop, takes rook, and now bishop takes seven check, king to h8, bishop to d3, discover check, king to g8, bishop to h7 check, king to h8, bishop to d3 check, draw. David will always remember this game. You don't have a chance every day to beat world champion, do you? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.